Welcome back. A young Baloch rights activist was found dead in Toronto, Canada. While the police, after initial investigations, say that it is a non-criminal death, her family are seeking another investigation. But now there are cries for justice for Karima Baloch in Quetta, in Karachi and in Toronto. Because several rights activists say that her death is eerily similar to the death of another Baloch rights activist who was found dead in Sweden in May 2020 and asked whether there is an ISI hit squad that's making deaths look like drowning and suicide. There is anger from Quetta in Karachi in Pakistan to Toronto in Canada. If not, Justice. Protest rallies were carried out in different cities across Pakistan against the death of activist Karima Baloch in Canada under mysterious circumstances. Baloch leaders say Karima Baloch was murdered and have demanded a thorough investigation. Karima Baloch, who spoke against atrocities by the Pakistan army, sent a rakhi to Prime Minister Modi and sought help for Balochis, was found dead on Tuesday in Canada. Canadian police found her body drowned off an island near Toronto's Lakeshore. In 2016, she escaped from Balochistan with the help of a few friends and Baloch activists, fearing for her life. This is what Karima had told India Today in August 2016. Baloch educators, se, Baloch intellectual figures, se, Pakistan ko hai. Pakistan, Baluchistan, mein jo talimi adare hi unko, uh, unko, dire uh, dire unko mazabi madaris mein tabdil kar rahi hai. Army, uh, kai ilake to aise hi jahan pe school hain, aur colleges hain, unki building hain, un, wahan se is, uh, teachers ko aur students ko bhagaya gaya aur army ka kabza hai. While in exile, Karima kept raising her voice against atrocities on locals in Pakistan-occupied Kashmir. Friends and fellow activists in Canada and other places across the world expressed their dismay over Karima's sudden death and are refusing to accept that it was an accident. Karima's mysterious death comes months after Baloch journalist Sajid Hussain was found dead in similar condition outside Uppsala in Sweden. Bureau report. India Today. Tariq Fateh is a senior journalist and activist. He joins us live from Toronto. Kamar Chima is a political analyst who joins us from Pakistan. And Lieutenant General Gurmeet Singh, former Deputy Chief of Army Staff, joins me from the national capital. Tariq Fateh, you've described young Karima Baloch as the Rosa Lux Luxemburg of Germany and Rani Lakshmibai of India. Why do you say, sir, or why do activists say that her death is mysterious, may not be suicide, could well have been the actions of Pakistan's ISI. Well, no one that knows uh, Karima or the Balochistan cause would even contemplate that in 2015, uh, you might not know that I was personally responsible for sponsoring her and getting her out of Pakistan. And I knew her as a father figure and uh, talk to her endlessly that a young woman in her 30s knew about international affairs and the local history like no other person I've met. She was not who she was because of her father or her brother or her husband. She was an independent woman, a very rare person in Balochistan. I might remind you that in 1972, when Balochistan had a chance to nominate a woman on a reserve seat, 
there was not a single woman of Baloch ancestry. That seat was filled by an Irish woman, Jennifer Kazi Musa, a wife of a Pakistani uh, chieftain sort of person. So the rarity okay. of a young woman who took the courage to take a flight, this was a first way out of the country. She escaped, got to Dubai from there, took a flight, landed in Toronto. Her other colleague, Latif Jahar, too, came over here. There was another woman also came who later uh, went back. But they stood the okay. test of time, and they fundamentally exposed what was happening in Balochistan, which probably most Indians or Pakistanis are not aware that it was an independent country. It had an embassy yes. in Karachi till March 1948. Yes. It was a country that was made independent by, uh, uh, by Muhammad Ali Jinnah, who took the fee of weighing himself in gold and then representing the state of Kalat and Balochistan to the British. And Balochistan became okay. independent on August 11th. That is prior to India or Pakistan. But it's covered up. And there was an interest to kill her, if at all. There might be other reasons. I don't know. But this woman didn't come to Canada to commit suicide. If she wanted to, she would have done it back over there. And nobody jumps. And that is where Kamar Chima... Yes, sir. That is where Kamar Chima, the role of Pakistan's notorious ISI is under the scanner or should be. Because one Baloch activist found dead again in a river in Sweden in May 2020 and one in Canada in December 2020. Very similar modus operandi. Well, I think uh, this is a very serious case and uh, uh, this di di this death must be unearthed that what has happened. First of all, we need to listen to the Canadian authorities. Second, definitely uh, uh, she is a young lady and uh, she had a promising future and one must know that how this has happened. But at the same time, we must not ignore that the Srivastav group and EU Disinformation Lab uh, revealed this that Srivastava group were using this lady uh, for uh, speeches across the world. So why we in, in Pakistan are really insulting why Indian a, a person who is no longer alive? Why Indian deep That's state not is not killing okay. the Baloch in Tariq Canada Fateh wants to so respond to create a discord How? in Pakistan? Indian what deep is state this? is deliberately making such kind of efforts so that the relations I'm between the Indian Pakistan, deep state the relations. You think the entire population okay. of Balochistan is the deep state? Okay. So, uh, I think the blood of Sir, the blood of Fateh wants to respond to you. The hand of the Indian deep state. That is what yeah, we what want the Canadians to unearth. Okay. The Canadian Fateh must wants to respond to you, sir. This. this is the responsibility Listen. of the Canada to unearth. Chima Sahab, are you Fateh, you want to respond? That, Go on, sir. Are you suggesting that the entire population of Balochistan is guided by the Indian deep state, and if it is, that means they don't want to live with you. All Pakistan has done has massacred tens of thousands of Baloch since I was a teenager in Karachi. I've seen the massacres of 1967, I, the war after 1972, when Indira Gandhi presented the Pakistan army with 90,000 soldiers, and Mr. Bhutto sent them straight to Balochistan. I've seen it after 1984. I've seen six, seven people being assassinated. Balach Mari was killed. Nobody understood that. Asad, uh, okay. uh, uh, Ataullah Mengal's son, Asad, was shot dead while he was injured in a hospital bed. We are, sir, aware. Perhaps in Punjab, you don't smell Balochistan, but it runs through our veins. We have been, our Baloch brothers have been massacred. Similarly, like, when we killed 10 million Bangladeshis by calling them Bhuka Bangali. At that time, too, the same defense came up. Oh, this is Indian propaganda. India has its own problems. India does not have the time let me, to let deal me... with killing people in Toronto. Oh, and you know, this is they very far-fetched, but, but I want to quickly bring in General Gurmeet Singh into this conversation, Tariq Fateh and Kamar Chima. General Gurmeet Singh, the fact that two Baloch rights activists who were exposing the Pakistani government and army and the atrocities in Balochistan both found dead under rather, 
you know, similar circumstances. Um, in, in, in Sweden, uh, Sajjad Hussain was found in a river. They said it's suicide. His family says it couldn't be. They suspected ISI. Again, in Karima Baloch's case, found in a river. They said it could, it's suicide. Family says it can't, can't be. Varun, uh, you are absolutely right. In fact, Kamachi was just referring to a word, deep state. Pakistan Army and ISI are actually the deep and the rogue state. And ISI in particular is a rogue uh, plus, I would say. In fact, uh, what you have quoted of the incident of the Sajad Hussain in Sweden and this particular case. And in fact, my deep condolences for the brave young leader. She was a crusader. She was a campaigner. She was speaking for the people. In fact, every indication of the mysterious aspect of the murder indicates that it is a network. It is ISI type of okay. a network which has worked on this because everything is indicating towards that. Pakistan has been following a state okay. policy of targeted killing uh, abroad of those people who are a problem to them. And actually, she is the Tariq one... Fateh, she the Tariq touch. Fateh, okay. Yes, is, Chai, is Pakistan taking a leaf out of their master's book of silencing dissidents even overseas using covert or overt means, sir? You just have to read what they say. A very close ally of the Pakistani military establishment, somebody called Malik uh, Ahmed, uh, who had a bank uh, in, uh, in uh, New York City, tweeted that Karima Baloch done. And the next was Tariq Fata waiting, Bukhari waiting. And, and inshallah, all three, including a, 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 a colleague of mine who is in Paris in exile, another one, yes. Mr. Guraya, who is in the uh, you know, uh, Netherlands, we in were Denmark. listed yes. as the next people to be killed. And the man said, I deleted these tweets, but I mean every bit of it. There's a threat against me almost on a daily basis. I, I have been told by local police to stay inside. It's not because I will suddenly have an urge to commit suicide. No, I'm a pain in their backside for the last 50 years. And inshallah, I will be. Because these are murderers. Kamar Chima, they, no, but, but stay safe, Tariq Fateh. You're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. Uh, you know, the, 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 such information is floating uh, that uh, you could be next uh, on, on the target or some Pakistani dissidents living in Paris, some in Denmark and yes. some in the Netherlands. And Kamar Chima, Kamar Chima, this is really alarming, sir. The tweet that Tariq Fateh refers to is someone who's considered very close to the Pakistani deep state, sir. Well, I think, first of all, uh, nobody can say that we should kill someone. This is not the way. I think uh, the dialogue, uh, dialogue, discussion, reconciliation is the only way. And saying such kind of things that we should kill someone, uh, someone is not, uh, is, must be condemned. And I condemn that, one thing. The second thing is, I think the Baloch who are fighting for their rights in Karachi, in Quetta, in Islamabad, we stand with them. But the Baloch diaspora across the world, they must be careful that how they could be used against the interest of the country. They are Pakistanis and they have an identity that is Pakistani identity. So which who is using that identity against Pakistan? So remember, the EU disinformation lab mentioned uh, Karima Baloch. And we know that how Indian deep state is using many people in London, in, in, uh, in New York. In, in Toronto and in other parts of the world. So we need to be very in, careful on this. And the is this then the right. an insult? The blood, no, blood are you insulting? You are insulting Karima Baloch and her sacrifice by, by alleging that she was an Indian plant? Sir, she is a member. Well, she she was, not, she was from Balochistan. No, the no, but that's really insulting her memory. Uh, Tariq no, Fateh wants to respond to you. Sir, please. For the rights. Sir, but the Baloch who are sitting abroad, sir, the Baloch diaspora abroad, they must understand. They sir, must you made that point. Don't repeat yourself. And Don't repeat yourself again and again, Kamar Chima. I, if you have faith in your argument, the, have faith. No, your in, your I, audience are intelligent and they've heard it the first time. Don't repeat yourself. I, I agree sir, with Tariq Fateh. Mr. Chima. I agree with Mr. Chima that violence and killing and death is not the answer. Reconciliation and talking with each other is, but let me present to you what the alternatives are. 
if there are people in the mountains fighting a guerrilla war and exiles outside, then within the country there is Akhtar Mengal, Sardar Akhtar Mengal, who was a former chief minister of Balochistan, who does not want independence, who wants a six-point plan, exactly what Sheikh Mujib Rahman wanted in East Pakistan. And look what has happened to him. Look what has happened to his family. He's one of the politicians who the, who the activists don't like. I have a lot of respect yes. for him. I, I don't believe the ultimate answer is a, a catastrophe. My point is, you cannot live in a country and determine that the language of India will be a national language and Sindhi and Balochi will be banned. If you are Punjabi and ashamed of okay. your language and you say, we will not speak Punjabi because it is the language of the working class, we will speak fancy Urdu, even if it sounds stupid. That's your case. But you can't tell Sindhis and okay. Baloch that your culture is devoid, you're and Arab. you can't kill people, sir. That's a very we valid point to raise. But General Gurmeet Singh, he General Gurmeet Singh, hold on, Kamar Chima. Hold on, hold on. General Gurmeet Singh, people like David Coleman Headley and Major Tahavur Hussein Rana of the Pakistan Army, they were sleeper cells of ISI and lashkar e taiba in Canada and in United States of America. And God forbid... Yes. There could be many more sleeper cells of ISI in Europe, in Canada, and in the United States. Pakistan deep state operates through such sleeper cells. Absolutely, Gaurav. In fact, uh, the same thing has been confessed by Pervez Musharraf in one of the interviews. He said that they, the, the, their state is following the policy of targeted ass assassination abroad. And uh, see, uh, one thing is very clear that uh, Karima Baloch was... Uh, prominent leader. In 2016, she was the BBC list of 100 inspirational and influential women. In 2018, she very pointedly told uh, at the event of the 70th anniversary of Balochistan, saying that there is a genocide which is going on in Pakistan. In fact, she was a, yes. herself a crusader. She campaigned against the disappearance, post disappearance in Pakistan. In fact, from every yes. indication of it, because today is Christmas. She was threatened with a Christmas gift. And everything is pointing towards ISI as a rogue state. And I, I would say that the world has got to wake up to it. It is not only cry for justice. And for I Justin Trudeau, for Canada's Prime Minister, Tariq Fateh. Tariq Fateh, Justin Trudeau yeah. needs to look within and he needs to have this investigated because Major Tahavur Hussain Rana, as you well know, Tariq Fateh, yes. was living was in Canada and was a lashkar e taiba sleeper cell. He is now in an American prison, but he's a dangerous lashkar e taiba terrorist who was a Pakistan Army major, a doctor living in, yes, in Canada, sir. Sir, let me assure you that Mr. Trudeau is uh, equivalent to in the dim. These, this is the new category of politicians who come up, who try to look handsome, debonair, you know, photobomb people, go across, try to look sexy. And this is one prime minister who has two blocks on which he resorts on, the Khalistanis, and then there is the council, the, uh, the, the Pakistani uh, MPs within parliament. They govern because all they care about is vote bank politics. We, we used to have which a is, country in which ideological debates used to take place between the left and the right yes. about issues like health care, uh, uh, social uh, adjustment. It was the most beautiful country on earth. Why? Because people understood that your color of your skin or your blood type or your race didn't matter till this man came and made sure that Khalistanis had a special place the defense minister of Canada BKT turned out to be a Khalistani. How can you, you know, stay safe, Tariq Fateh? Yes, stay safe, stay safe. It's very important. Uh, you know, if there is dissent, it has to be peaceful and democratic. And we'll track the story very closely. But Kamar Chima, Jal Gurmeet Singh and Tariq Fateh in Toronto, Canada. Many thanks for joining me. Hi everyone, Preeti Chaudhary here. Hope you like this video. For latest news and analysis, like and subscribe to the India Today YouTube channel. And don't forget to press the bell icon to stay updated. Thank you for watching.